all right so the last section uh, of uh, this video is very small it's about simply uh, talking about our delete router although this doesn't follow any risk convention uh, but I, just, I just still wanted to add it because why not so for uh, this uh, we have uh, in our route section uh, a two routes uh, one is to delete uh, a room and once you delete a room what this router will do is delete all of its appropriate messages in the chat messages model as well or you can just go and individually delete a message id as well so let's talk about both of them um, uh, in my controllers i have uh, a delete.js file and so far what we've been doing is uh, uh, for every uh, database method that uh, we did we were uh, making static methods as well so I want to touch uh, just one last thing on how you can also write queries and for that you don't have to uh, write um, static methods. So all you have to do is for example uh, in my delete model I have a uh, I have a try cache block uh, I get the room id uh, as request.params and uh, uh, then in my chat model I uh, instead of creating a this.remove method in my uh, a set of static functions in uh, these uh, model files I simply uh, took uh, the um, took the export default as it is and appended uh, this re remove uh, and added this ID along with the, the, this room ID uh, just to teach you guys that uh, we can write a, a query like this and uh, then what I do is uh, in my message all I go is uh, all I do is uh, I take my chat message model and attach this remove uh, mongoose method and pass in this room id so in my chat room model I, I, I give it the underscore id and in my chat message model I give it the chat, uh, chat room id and uh, then all, all I do is I just return a status 200 with success uh, success true message and uh, with delete rooms count and delete messages count as to how many uh, rooms and messages has been have been deleted by this uh, by these two particular queries. Similarly, I have this uh, delete message by ID. Uh, I take them. I take a message by ID a message ID in request params, and what I do is uh, I use my chat message model and add this mongoose method called remove and pass in this underscore ID uh, uh, which has the value of message ID. And whatever the result is, I just give in a success true and delete message count as to how many messages ha have been deleted. So this was another method on how you could um, uh, make queries. So for example, I I, I could I could do anything. Uh, for example, uh, uh, let's talk about this. Uh, create a post. Uh, just just to give you like a, a very small hint uh, as to what this is powerful uh, powerful is. I could just come up here and you know just add this here. I don't have to create a static method just to give you a little bit of hint. The reason we uh, the reason uh, we create static methods is to have common database functionalities there. If 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 you're working on a controller and and you're sure that uh, the database of, uh, query that you're going to perform is very unique to that very particular controller, it is okay if you if, if you just write uh, the database query inside here as is. But generally, uh, if it's uh, if it's common or if it's like some common set of functionalities like get an entity by ID, uh, remove an entity, uh, update an entity, stuff like that, it's it's usually a good practice to have it there. And with this, uh, let me just run this and uh, then uh, I'll just give you a small message, and then we are done. So uh, let me see if my server is running npm star just always make sure that your mongo instance is running and if, if you have troubles of in running uh, running a mongo instance just let me know and uh, i'll do something about that as well so uh, i don't know what this id is i don't know if it exists or not but i'll, I'll run it and it says uh, it didn't delete anything so let me go chat um get, let me get my recent conversation and just now so i want to delete something between Yes, so I want to delete all the conversation that I've had between Adil and Pikachu. So I will go here and I will pass in the ID for my room and it says it's deleted one one room and 29 messages. Cool, I, I'll, I'll do the same for my message ID. 
let me get my recent conversation and yeah just let's just delete the just now 545 and i'll just pass in the message id Ah, oh wow! I I just found a small bug in 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 my uh, uh, code <laughs> as is. So uh, I'll just go in my chat messages. Uh, get uh, get conversation. Uh, where is get get conversation? And in my ID where it says this is supposed to be message ID. Uh, Yes, this is supposed to be message ID. I'll also update uh, update this and in, and in, into the code base. All right, so um, let's run this again. Now I'm getting the message ID. Uh, let's run this, and it should say one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, with this, I just wanted to say um, I I really hope that you enjoyed this content. Uh, it was. It was not uh, that, that well structured as it, it should have been. Uh, it took me almost a week uh, to write the content for this. Uh, I, I was able to make the application very quickly, but the content and the videos it took me uh, a week. And I would really appreciate uh, your feedback if you guys could get, give me any so that I can improve my content for you guys. And generally the whole idea for, for this is, is to give you more concepts so that you, uh, you start looking in, in, into these directions as well. Uh, and about databases, Mongo's, uh, aggregations, queries, uh, and stuff like this. And if if uh, any of this part uh, in this content you found difficult, do let me know. Uh, I'll I'll try to rewrite it. I'll try to improve it. Or uh, if you if you want to learn something new, just again let me know, and uh, I I I can write or I can make a video about it. And with that. Uh, uh, I wish you guys best like best best of luck and um, that's it. Have a good day, guys. Bye.